What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm bringing you five particular fragrances that I actually like to wear in the summertime. Sweet fragrances normally just a bit too much when it's really hot outside, but being here in Colorado Springs, it's not the most humid of summers, though it can get very hot, don't get me wrong. You are a lot closer to the sun being 6,000 feet above elevation here, but 90 degrees here does not feel the same as 90 degrees back when I lived in Texas and Louisiana because of the humidity difference. So there are some sweeter fragrances that I am able to enjoy on certain days in the summer and especially in summer evenings. And these are my five personal favorites that I have been reaching for and or plan on reaching for the rest of the summer. Like I said, that are just very sweet, ones you, mostly you wouldn't expect for the summer, some that surprisingly are actually kind of marketed to the summer, but I wanna to talk to you about them, so stay tuned. Starting with one that's actually kind of marketed for this time of year. It's more of a tropical fragrance, but it's very sweet. There's a brown sugar note here. It's known to be a cheaper alternative to Virgin Island Water, though this is much sweeter, a lot less on the freshness. Like I said, this is more geared around Lang Alang and brown sugar. That's the main players here when it comes to Tahitian waters from English Laundry. Solid fragrance. I actually wore this one not that long ago. I have a travel size of it as well. This is one of the older style bottles that you can't quite see through. The newer ones you can see through. Came in the full presentation. I do have the box for it. Uh, this one, like I said, you're going to get some of that coconut. You're going to get some of that tropical tone. Only it's more of a coconut milk than coconut water smell. Like I said, it's a lot more creamy. It's a lot sweeter. Yellow floral. Tropical. But like I said, that brown sugar really stands out here. The first time I smelled it, it's not what I was expecting it to be. It's a very sweet fragrance to be marketed as a more summer oriented type of scent and known to be a great alternative or at least an alternative for Virgin Island water. Like I said, I wouldn't consider it a great alternative for that because there's less similarities and more differences. So they're kind of standalone fragrances. The only thing they really have in common is that coconut note. I think more so than not because there's no booziness here. It's not full of lime, it's not you know, a bunch of sea salt or anything like that. It doesn't have quite the island vibe, whereas this has more of a creamy colada type of drink going, type of scent profile going for it. But it, oddly enough, works in the summer. So the marketing, I don't remember the marketing exactly, but I know it's definitely geared towards the summertime. And some people may deem this just a little too sweet for the summer. And look, in super high humidity, I can see that being the case. I had this back when I lived in high humidity. Now that I'm not in high humidity, it actually kind of works. Like I said, I've worn this recently, just a few weeks ago. This was in my rotation as a daytime scent and it worked beautifully. Some sweet aromas just get enhanced instead of getting cloying when introduced to the heat. And this is definitely one of those fragrances. Get your nose on this one if you haven't yet. This is super underrated from the House of English Laundry. It's Tahitian Waters. Next is a more evening appropriate type of scent. It's sweet, it's almond, and it's cherry. Cherry leather, almond type of smell beautiful fragrance that the cherry really pops. It adds this fresh fruity tone and it doesn't overtake you with sweetness when your skin heats up with this one. This is, believe it or not, a decent daytime summer fragrance without all the extra humidity. We're talking about Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Eau de Parfum. This is probably a surprise pick for you guys. I've mentioned this before as it being a great summer date night fragrance. Cause like I said, something about this, it just works well in the heat. And look, it's it's a very sweet fragrance. When you smell it, you're probably thinking, you're, he's crazy. Why would he recommend that in the summertime? In smoldering high humidity, it might be a little too much. Keep it towards, you know, climate-controlled environments in the evenings then. But oddly enough, days that are in the 80-some-odd degree range with, you know, 40-whatever percent humidity over here, this actually works. I have worn it one time to run errands. Just I wanted something to spray, something out of the norm. I was in the mood for something sweet and sprayed this within it was within the last week, week and a half or something like that. We went to do some grocery shopping and I had this on. Wife couldn't top, stop telling me how great I smelled. You know, it's just one of those rare sweet fragrance occurrences that just seem to 
be a different experience that's not too cloying, it's not too much in the high heat. One of these fragrances you might want to give it a try. If you have this in your wardrobe, maybe give it a shot if you're not in a high humidity area. High humidity might still be a little too much, but lower humidity heat in the summer, this is actually lovely. Marketed for the summertime, it's based around creamy vanilla. And when you hear creamy vanilla, more times than not, you're probably not going to think of summer daytime. But Juliet Has a Gun Vanilla Vibes is just that. I've been featuring this one quite a bit lately because it's one of the better beach-oriented niche fragrances out there that's based, it's just a strange combination because it gives this sunscreen, sunbathed skin type of tone in the scent with vanilla. It's beautiful. This is such a good scent. It really is above average performer. And, and look, it's thick and creamy and it is sweet. When you smell it, it's going to remind you of the beach. It definitely, they recreated that by the beach essence in the aroma. But like I said, the creaminess and the sweetness isn't too much to be in the, I mean, even in the South's humidity, this stuff just works. And it's, like I said, it's based around sweet, creamy vanilla. Um, not one that I ever would have thought would just work in the summer. You know, the bottle looks cool. The gradients fits, you know, sand, water, sky. It, it fits the beach theme. And when you see the note breakdown, it just doesn't make a ton of sense. Like there's some tropical notes to it, but it's something about the way they did this blend with this particular type of vanilla. It just works in the highest of heat, no matter how hot it is outside. This does not get too cloyingly sweet, and it still has a thick, creamy aroma. It's the strangest of the summer marketed fragrances out there that you would have never guessed, at least I would have never guessed, had this bottle just been a plain, clear glass or something like that. I would have never, and it'd just be called, you know, uh, vanilla something other than, or even still vanilla vibes. I would have never guessed it to be great in high heat and to recreate a by the beach aroma. It really puts me there visually. I can visualize being there when I smell this fragrance. Marketed for the ladies, might even be marketed for unisex, but guys, trust me, it's very unisex. Everybody can enjoy this one. It's a great olfactive experience, and it's a different olfactive experience, especially coming from a sweet vanilla, sweet creamy vanilla fragrance for the summertime. Works wonderful in the high heat. Juliet has a gun vanilla vibes. Based around multiple types of rose, incense, oud, there's sugar cane and vanilla bean that really give this a nice, nice sweet tone to it. It's ambery, warm, and sweet. It's intoxicating. It is Zaharoff signature rose. This is, and look, this is kind of a powerful fragrance for the summertime, but Hell, this came out right around the summertime last year, so I was wearing it all through that summer. And it just works. There's never a bad time. For as thick, rich, sweet, and warm of an aroma that this is, with the matching performance to go with it, trust me, you wouldn't think works in the summer, but it brings out the warm wood aspect of it. The incense comes out a bit more. The freshness of the Turkish rose kind of takes over when heat is applied to this fragrance. Look, it's beautiful you, the rest of the seasons and slightly cooler weather, but I don't know. This is one of those rare occasions where a very sweet and warm fragrance, and I mean very sweet, like I said, sugarcane and tonka bean. This is going to be very sweet for some people. And honestly, shout outs to my buddy Justin, Justin Copeland. Check his channel out if you're not familiar with Justin for some reason. Um, I picked him up from the airport, and he was wearing this, and it was, might have been August, August or July of last year, and when he got in the car, it was just this sweet oud amber aroma with a little bit of rose coming off of his skin. He was wearing this. It was, and look, it was 95 degrees outside. It was, it was a hot day, and it just works. This is one of those magnificent creations that you would probably never guess for the summertime because it's such a heavy wear but it, it like i said it just works guys this is one that's worthy of getting a sample of and trying no matter what but if you have it and you're kind of maybe iffy about wearing it in the summer give it a try you may end up liking the end result a great sweet fragrance that works in the heat is the haroff signature rose last but not least we have my favorite of all vanilla fragrances it's a vanilla amber combination it's in my opinion the best fragrance from the house of nishane we are talking about ani now this is one that you might not think i would have been a fan of 
for the summertime. So the difference is, is yes, in the beginning, it may be a little cloying because it's very heavy in the first hour. But the way the blend is, there's kind of this freshness, a little bit of citrus and ever effervescence to the benzoin that's in here. It's got a bit of a pop in the opening. So if you're moderate with the sprays on this one or light on the sprays, because it has plenty of staying power. And when you heat up with this one, it's going to project really heavy. That first hour is heavy no matter what. It's very loud in the first hour. But this is an intoxicating scent that, honestly, I don't think there's ever a bad time for. Maybe in the highest of humidity where the heat index is 115, 120 degrees outside, maybe not the best choice. But in situations like I have where the hottest of days is like 94, 95 degrees with 40 or 50 percent humidity, this can still work during the day when you're just looking for that, that personal scent that one that you're just not going to be able to stop smelling yourself. And with the way this is going to heat up on your skin, you won't need much effort to smell yourself. It's going to be strong wafts hitting you even at only two to three sprays. This is, like I said, my favorite vanilla scent I have ever smelled. And I just kind of randomly tried it out the other day in the heat. I think it was like 88, 89 degrees. Um, went out and about. We went on a walk. And it's just it was just a joy to wear out in the sun on a nice little mild hike for about an hour with my wife. Beautiful stuff. You know, this is one, again, probably not too many people are going to think to wear this in the heat. But believe it or not, for being a sweet fragrance, when you put it in the right circumstance with the right amount of sprays, it's just beautiful. Well, that's my five personal favorite sweeter fragrances that I have been enjoying a little bit here and there throughout the summer. Now, it... Admittedly, not stuff I'm going to reach for all the time in the summer, but you get, you know, freshies, it's freshy season. We always dub it freshy season when summer rolls around, but sometimes it gets old just wearing something really fresh and inviting every day. Sometimes you want, you crave that sweet fragrance or you crave that heavily spiced fragrance or that, you know, animalic leather. In my case, it's usually the sweeter fragrances. That's something that I kind of miss when it's high heat and I'm typically wearing blues and light blues and just a lot of fresh and aquatic citrus based fragrances. So these are the five that I've kind of been reaching for that have kind of been curing that craving for some sweetness in my fragrances. So by all means, give one of these a try or some of these a try, whatever you have or whatever strikes your interest, get a decant and try them out because it may be that sweet fragrance that cures the craving for you in the summertime as well and until next time i will say if you get your hands on any of these and you give them a spray now pretty confident you'll thank me later so some good stuff have a good one guys